what's up everybody welcome right here to mess with Dustin. and now let's have a look at question for november 2021 grade 11 uh, maths paper one all right it's divided into four questions from one four from 4.1 up until 4.4 all right so now right here we are having this is our function that is uh, t1 uh, this is our t2 uh, T3 and also T4 and then they have already told us that uh, these are the four terms of a quadratic pattern I've already explained this you are, when immediately when you hear quadratic pattern we are already expecting that this is um, a pattern that has got uh, the first difference and also the uh, second difference where there's a common it is going to be our common uh, difference that one all right so let's have a look at this one 4.1 says calculate the value of X so 4.1 we are looking for the value of x we've got minus one uh, we've got x there we've got three here we've got x plus eight okay so what does uh, our difference say you said x uh, minus minus so it's going to be x minus uh, it's going to be x minus minus one okay then you're gonna have this one is going to be 3 minus x and therefore this one x plus 4 x plus 8 minus 3 okay so let me see what do we have here I'm just gonna write simplify them and write them here correctly it's gonna be x plus 1 here here is still the same x minus then here is going to be x plus 5 because we minus 8 minus 3 is equals to 5 okay great stuff so now let's come here again we're gonna say uh, 3x uh, minus this one is gonna be 3x minus in bracket x plus 1 and therefore this one here is going to be x plus 5 minus 3 minus x okay this is D, which is our common different, and therefore even here is D. So in order for us to find X, we need to say, uh, we need to say, uh, we need to say that uh, D is equals to D. So therefore, let's substitute here D minus, also remove the bracket as well. So it's going to be minus X minus 1 is equal to X plus 5 minus 3 plus x okay therefore this will give us minus 2x uh, plus 2 is going to give us a uh, 2x plus 2 okay so therefore now you need to simplify this uh, okay i'm gonna take the x this side so when I take the this this will this x take it to the other side, it's gonna jump the equal sign. So therefore it's going to become for x is equal to then I take this two to that side where I'm gonna have two minus two. So therefore it means for x is equal to zero, therefore x is equal to zero. It's possible, guys, that you can get x to be zero don't panic as long as everything that we did correctly was taken to the basics and then uh, we double check our arithmetic then we shouldn't have any worry with that okay so now let's come here and said they want us to show that the nth term of the pattern can be written like this okay and so now if they say they can be written like this what we can do in order for us to be able to see very well what we're dealing with here too we can simplify this we can say tn this is the tn that is given okay i made a mistake here it's one here one x squared minus one okay good stuff all right um therefore this is what we are looking for so let's go back into our pattern then substitute the x is equal to zero so what you're gonna have you're gonna have minus one zero three zero plus eight is just going to be eight 
Therefore, we deal with the difference here. 0 minus minus 1 is going to be 1. 3 minus 0 is going to be 3. And therefore, 8 minus 3 is going to be 5. Therefore, 3 minus 1, 2. Therefore, 5 minus 3 is going to give us 2 again. So therefore, on the quadratic question, if you are looking for the general formula, please, guys, I'm going to write it in green here so that you fully, fully understand this. Always remember this. Ne? It's not going to come on your formula sheet. So I'm just going to look for a different color here that I can use so that you guys, you fully, fully understand what you are dealing with. Rather, Let me go with the green here. So what happens is you've got... This common difference, which is the last one, is given to A is equals to that common difference. Here you must have 3A plus B is equals to this one. And therefore, A plus B plus C is equals to that one. All right. So having that in mind, we can come here and solve for this. Okay. I'm going to say 2A is equals to 2. So, therefore, if you divide by 2, divide by 2, A is therefore equal to 1. Okay? Similarly, 3A plus B is equal to 1. Therefore, you know that A is already equal to 1. Therefore, when you look for B, you are going to have B is equal to 1 minus 3, which is equal to B is equal to 2. All right? So, having that in mind again, we said here a plus b plus c is equal to negative 1. a plus b plus c is equal to negative 1. Therefore, what is a? a is equal to 1. b is equal to 2. c, we don't know what it is. That's what we're looking for. It's equal to minus 1. Very, very critical, guys. I hope you can understand. If you don't understand, make sure that you leave the comment on the comment section below. I will get to you as soon as I can. I'm trying to be as slow as I can so that you guys can be able to follow the algebra as well. All right. So C is going to be equal to minus 1 and therefore minus 3. C is going to be equal to negative 4. Okay. Okay. I made a mistake here, guys. Uh, made a very terrible mistake here. 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Okay. 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Please make sure, guys, I just corrected this one here. So, therefore, it means here we're going to have a different equation here now. It's going to be minus 2. So, therefore, 1 minus 2 is going to be minus 1. Therefore, when you take it to that side, it's going to give us plus 1 rather, which makes uh, C to be equal to 0. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for showing me that mistake. I had made a mistake here initially. I said B is equal to 1, but it happens that B is minus 2. All right. So, having that in mind, you can come here and say, therefore, on the, our original equation for the quadratic pattern, it says that it's given by A n squared plus B n plus C. Therefore, what do you know? N is going to be n squared B is going to be minus B and C, we don't know what it is, is equal to 0. All right. So, even this in mind, they said we must show that it can be written as this here. So, therefore, what we can do here, let's have a look at this one to simplify the way they have asked us to simplify. Minus 2 plus 1. So, what you can do here is either you can add plus 1 and also minus 1 because this well, positive 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So basically, you did nothing to the equation, but you just have made life easy for yourself so that this you can show. When you factorize this trinomial, uh, there is, it's going to be factorized by n minus 1 squared, and then therefore you need to minus 1 there. And therefore, that's how this equation looks, and you have just showed the examiner that you know what to do. Okay, now let's move on to question 4.3. Now, 4.3, as I get the color that we normally use here, calculate the value of the 65th uh, term of the pattern. Okay, very easy and straightforward, this one. Tn, we've already shown that Tn is equals to 
n squared minus 2. So they are saying what will be the value if n is equals to 65. Gonna come here then just uh, substitute that here. 65 uh, squared minus 2 multiplied by 65. Therefore, once you put this in your calculator, you should be able to arrive to an answer of 4095. If this is not right, right guys, please let me know by, by leaving a comment on the comment section below. All right. So now it says here that um, write down the value of the first term of the pattern that is greater than that is greater than 9,800. Okay. So now, because we have got uh, our equation here, we have got our equation here, which is given by that. 4.4, they want to know if we can get anything where Tn is greater than 980. Okay. Great stuff. So therefore, here is our Tn. Tn is equals to n squared minus 2n. But this answer needs to be greater than 9800. So therefore, we're going to have n squared minus 2n minus 9812 greater than 0. Therefore, we just need to solve this uh, trinomial. Okay, we need to factorize this. Okay. So to factorize this, you're going to be n there. You're going to have n there. Uh, two numbers, when you multiply them together, they give you 900 and uh, you say 198. And then if you add and subtract, they will give you two. Yes, that's correct. And then the sign of the middle term is determined. The sign uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the bigger number plus that you're going to have n is equals to minus 98 or n is equals to 100 <laughs> or n is should be greater than greater than 100 okay not equal to guys greater than 100 all right great stuff so therefore if it's greater than 100 is therefore going to be you can say therefore n you want n to be greater than 100 so you can say 101 because 101 it is greater than 100 let's say guys you struggled here to find these factors what you can do here you can use the quadratic formula to deal with this which is given by this equation guys is there on your formula sheet this would assist you to find the factors here all right and that's how you would deal with a question like this one i don't know if guys there's any questions or you need assistance one-on-one -on -one lesson you can reach out to me uh, my whatsapp number it's right there on the description of the channel. Please make sure that you stay tuned on this channel as we will continue to give you more examples, more past papers examples to really assist you to do better. All right. So now I will definitely see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question for November 2020.